What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and today I have another chug challenge. Now, this chug challenge is, is started by uh, Dave from Dave's TV, and it's for another worthy cause. This is the F Cancer Chug Challenge. Now, apparently, his wife Anna uh, just went through cancer. It sounds like she's beat it. Congratulations. That's awesome. And so, he decided to do a chug challenge. Part of it's for uh, breast cancer awareness and, and to sh so show support for his wife, Anna. It's really cool that she was able to beat that. Sounds like she's doing well. Congratulations. And, you know, cancer affects everybody. If you look at it, if you live on a long enough timeline, everybody eventually gets cancer. I mean, there's been a lot of research out there. A lot of people die of old age if they actually... Uh, have their body looked at, they've got cancer at some point. It didn't kill them, but they have it. They lived with it. A lot of people out there get cancer. It affects millions and millions of people every year. And I have a really good friend who's struggling with the disease right now. He's really going through a rough patch. And so uh, this kind of strikes home for me a little bit. Hope he's doing well. Can't wait to see you. Hopefully I see you real soon. You know, I'm terrible at chugging. And for some reason, I chose this big, unwieldy glass to try to chug one of these Yingling Golden Pilsners. But, hey, life's tough, cancer's tough, and it's going to be tough chugging out of this mug. So this is to you, Anna, for congratulations for beating the cancer. My good friend out there, hope you're able to beat yours too. Hope to see you real soon. Man, I'm terrible doing this. Let's get into it. This is for all you cancer survivors out there. And all you that are battling cancer. Man, it's the first time I did a chug with a pint instead of just a 12-ounce can. Sorry it wasn't better for you guys. But hey, once again, this is for everybody out there that's suffering from cancer or survived it or has lost a loved one to it. Cheers, everybody.